Today I'm going to show you how I make schnitzel Vienna style. For the preparation you will need approximately 400 grams turkey breast meat that's formed into schnitzel, salt, sweet paprika, black pepper, cayenne pepper, 3 to 4 tablespoons of flour, one egg or maybe two depending on its size, breadcrumbs and oil for frying. First, we need to prepare our meat. Put some plastic work on your board and place your meat on top of it. Take another piece of plastic wrap and place it on top of your meat to cover it. Now take your tenderizer and start smashing. This is also an excellent way to vent out your frustrations. You can either use the smooth or the rough side of your tenderizer. It really depends how tender you want your meat to be and how hard you hammer it. If I have more of a gentle touch, the rough side should be just fine. Otherwise, I would suggest rather to use the smooth side. Just make sure that you don't flatten your meat too much, or it will be dry once you fry it off. It should be a minimum of 6 mm thick, but make sure that it's equal thickness throughout. I like to cut my schnitzel into half, because it makes it easier to coat and fry later, but you can leave it at this if you prefer. Now let's prepare our breading station. Crack the eggs and beat them one by one. This way you can see if you need more or less, depending on how large your eggs are. I had to add another egg here, because I saw one wouldn't be enough for all the meat. Now let's season the flour. I like to season my flour instead of the meat, but you can season the meat first if you want. In the flour I add a pinch of salt, and I also add a pinch of salt to the eggs. To the flour we add a pinch of cayenne pepper, a quarter of a teaspoon black pepper, and a quarter of a teaspoon of paprika. To the breadcrumbs I like to add a lot of paprika. I think it's around 1 tablespoon at least. Not only it gives it a nice taste at the end, but it also gives it a nice color. It really pops. Now let's mix all the spice as well into the breadcrumbs and into the flour as well. Make sure they're evenly distributed. Now it's time to coat our meat. First, dredge your meat into the flour on all sides. Pat the excess flour off and dunk the meat into the egg. Now take your fork and lift it up so the excess egg drips down. Move the meat to the breadcrumbs and coat it well. Repeat the process with the rest of the meat until all are coated in breadcrumbs. I always try to keep one hand for flour and the other one for the breadcrumbs. And the fork prevents my hands getting sticky. I would highly recommend that you put your breaded meat into the fridge for about 10 minutes. In the meantime, you can heat up your pan with oil and clean up your breading station. In the pan, we should have around 1 cm of oil. That should be enough to shallow fry our schnitzel. I personally add a sneaky knob of butter in as well, just to add an additional flavor. We should start frying our schnitzels when the oil reaches around 180 degrees Celsius. Make sure to not overcrowd your pan, or the oil might lose its temperature and then it wouldn't be good. I fried my schnitzel for about a minute on its side. Once you see that the coating is golden brown, you can take them out and place them on the wire rack. If you don't have it, you can put them on a paper towel. This helps get rid of extra oil that is still present on the coating. Don't forget to sprinkle a little salt on them as soon as you take them out. Serve them with your favorite side dishes and don't forget to add a lemon wedge next to them. A squeeze of lemon on top of them before you bite into this delicious meat will add a wonderful tangy taste and neutralize some of the fats still present. But most of all, enjoy your meal! As always, if you like this video, give me a like, subscribe and see you next time.